What's up guys on YouTube, NGS here, and it's time for vlog number 49? Is it 49? I don't know if it's 49 or 48. I really don't know. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, it's time for vlog, you guys, as I do. These are my vlogs every single Thursday, you know. This is more of a pattern which I want to follow, like, you know, vlog a week instead of actually doing, like, two vlogs in one week or three vlogs, just update info. So I actually like doing vlogs once a week. It saves me more, t me more time. I think actually I upload I think three videos a week. I think that's my limit, you know, with school and everything. So the first thing I want to say is the Dragon Ball Raging Blast demo has officially come out on Xbox Live today, um, October 22nd. You know, the minute I got home, my friend texted me, he's like, the demo's on it. I got so happy. You know, I was playing it for a good 10 matches. And I don't know if it's on the PlayStation Network yet. There is a delay because you know how the Xbox 360 gets the demos first over the PSN. So I played the demo. It comes with three characters. It comes with Goku, Piccolo, and Raditz. Oh, well, actually, if you count four characters if you count Super Saiyan Goku. But, um, yeah, so what I've played so far, if this is your first time playing the demo, then pff, it is freaking hard to get used to. It's different from Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I mean, the controls, like, the main controls are okay, but they added so much new stuff to the game. Like, they changed the location of the power-up button. They changed the location of the dash button and stuff. And it was really hard to get used to at first. I mean, I, it took me, like, three matches to figure out, like, uh, how do I go Super Saiyan? Uh, and then, uh, but I got, I got used to it. I was like, I press this button. I'm like, oh, I have to press this button and then that button. I'm like, why can't it just be, like, you know, a simple, you know, like, just, like, press this button to go Super Saiyan. Instead, you have to press right trigger, then X to go Super Saiyan. It opens up a little menu, which I don't like. Maybe they're going to change the controls to switch back to the classic mode that was in Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I really hope they do that, because this was hard to get used to, because, like, what's it called? To do Kamehameha, you have to flick the thing like that. To do Kaioken, flick it down. Solar Flare, flick it, um... Left, for me, it's, like, for you guys, actually, it'd be right. Because, like, you know, the way the controller is. But it was hard to get used to at first. And it did feel a bit too slow. But as you went on, it got really fast. <laughs> it was really hard um, for the first couple matches. But, then you know, I got used to it, you know. Um, so I like the demo. Go download it on Xbox Live. By the time you see this video, it'll already be up on the PlayStation Network. So, yeah, to go check it out on both those um, networks. It's really cool. Like, you know, I, I just had a blast playing it. Clash of Ninja Revolution 3. Any new info? Let me think. Well, at this moment, not really, because they released four videos this week. They released the Story Mode trailer, Tsunade vs. Bak... <laughs> Return of the Finger, um, Kakashi vs. Jiraiya, and they released the uh, Konoha Ninja Special. So, um, pretty much this game, it looks kind of fun, you know, with the Wi-Fi and stuff. And the character roster really questions me, because, like, they said it's going to have over 35 characters. And they also said, if you listen to that interview, no pre-time skip characters. Like, that means no young Naruto, no young Sasuke, like they were in EX 1 and 2. Next, no, 2 and 3, actually, yeah. So far, we have 28 characters confirmed. Now, that leaves about, I don't know, maybe 10 slots open. I don't know if they're actually going to make it to 40. But seriously, think what they could do with 10 more slots. Sasuke, Sai, Yamato, Kabuto, um, and Orochimaru have to be in this game. Like, there's no question. Like, how are they going to fill the roster? I mean, who are they honestly going to put in the game? Are they going to put Toa and Kamachi again? I swear to God, if they put them in this game, it'd be a waste. I mean, I tolerate Yugao because I liked playing with her. But these guys, <laughs> they... <laughs> It's just ridiculous, you know? So, if they put Toa and Kamachi, I'm just gonna be pissed because we don't need any more Anbu. Sure, they were cool for Revolution 2, but this is supposed to be Shippuden. Not Shippuden plus random people. You know, seriously. So, they should focus on adding characters from Shippuden, like Konohamaru, Eno, for example. I mean, seriously, where is she? I mean, people say, you know, the door's still open for Eno. We have 10 more character slots, you know? So, I'm like, okay, maybe Eno will be in the game. Maybe they're keeping it as a surprise. So... Honestly, what do you guys think that they should put in the game within reasonable limits? Don't say Team Snake or Pain or Zetsu, those guys. They're not going to be in the game. I mean, just seriously, think about it. This is the first Shippuden game on the Wii. They want to make more of these. So, you know, they want to not add too much into one game because what are they going to put in the next game? I mean, seriously. I really haven't been watching Naruto Shippuden recently, you guys. You mean, I mean, I haven't even been keeping up with the episodes. I mean... I don't even know, I know what's going on in the plot, I mean, it's just the episodes are just like, you know, I haven't really had time to watch them. Last episode I watched was when they met, um, Jugo, 
So, you know, I have to continue watching it from there. Maybe I can re-catch up this weekend and, you know, watch more episodes. From what I've seen, the anime is getting really epic. You know, they got that new opening, which I'm going to get onto later. But, um, yeah, we're finally getting into Jirai versus Pain, soon Sasuke versus Itachi, then Destruction of the Hidden Leaf Village. You know, I, I cannot wait for that, you know, because... Freaking TV Tokyo has, like, put us through filler for so many years. It's not even funny. I mean, honestly, I may be the only one who thinks this, you guys, but I think Shippuden has sucked up until now. Like, just look at it. The first, I don't know, 30 or so episodes, like, they were okay. It didn't really feel like a big, like, surprise or whatever, but... I liked those episodes. Then they just started getting the plot back into filler and stuff. I mean, the first filler arc with Sora, you know, with the um, fake Nine Tails, you know, that was decent, you know. But then when they got into this three-tailed arc with Guren, I'm like, why? <sighs> We're so far away from the plot as is. Why would you want to keep putting us back into fillers? And you know what has proven that fillers are a bad thing? Naruto Shippuden, when it was airing on TV during the whole three tail filler crap thing, it was on the bottom of the bottom ratings. Like, I think out of six, it was at number six. And I'm like, TV Tokyo, get your heads out of your asses. Don't keep the fans in fillers. They do not want fillers. I mean, the anime is so far away from the manga as is. I mean, I know you have to add a bit of filler in between, but not a whole, like, six-month arc. That's ridiculous. I mean, six months, it's 24 episodes. We don't want to have to do a whole nother arc just to wait to get this to this arc. I mean, Dragon Ball Z, yeah, that's filler, but you can't really cut that filler out because it's in between the stuff, like, the fights. One Piece has minimal filler. Um, what other animes? Um... Yu Yu Hakusho. Actually, they had some stuff in the manga that really wasn't even in the anime. Um, what else? Naruto, you can cut out the last, like, freaking 100 or 80 episodes. Yeah, actually, 80 episodes of the anime. And, um, I'm just saying, Shippuden, it really wasn't, like, cool. I mean, just all the filler and crap, it, it was just, it's just terrible. I didn't like that. Maybe that's my own opinion, but I've talked to a lot of people on forums and say fillers are killing Shippuden. I mean, that's why a lot of people are switching back to the manga, I mean, because the manga is better. I mean, there's no freaking filler. I mean, it's ridiculous, right? Now, enough of the whole filler bashing. Let's get on to, you know, the sixth opening of Naruto called Sign, performed by Flo. I think it was Flo. Yeah, the guys who did the fourth opening of Naruto, Go. Um, so I'm just like, yeah, I heard the opening. At first, I personally didn't like it, but as I heard it again, it got really cool and awesome. You know, so I really want to hear what you guys thought of the opening. I thought it was really great. What fucking beautiful! It was fucking beautiful! What was that? Oh my god, I swear to god, the weird voices are back. Kingdom Hearts, birth by sleep! Yes, you know, I'm, you know, you're wondering why I'm so happy about this, but a new trailer for Birth by Sleep was released after like a whole year of not having new gameplay. And you know, I'm just really, really happy about this because the trailer looks so epic, you know? Because you've got a bunch of new worlds in it, like you get to team up with Stitch and you fight Gantu, that looks like a lot of fun. Um, the graphics look superior, it's, it looks like one of the best looking games on the PSP. Um, there's new music in it, I think there's gonna be a new theme song because if I have to hear Sanctuary one more time, it's gonna get on my nerves, you know? Exploring those classic Disney worlds looks like a lot of fun and I really cannot wait to play in those worlds because it looks like it delves more into the story. That's what I really like. It gives them a lot of opportunities on what they can do with the story. I mean, come on, you have Snow White's world, Stitch's world, you have um, Cinderella's world, um, a lot of new stuff. I really want to see the new enemies that are going to be in there. I think it's called the Unbirth. I think that's what the new type of enemy is called in addition to the Heartless. Um, so I really can't wait for that. I really want to see what the story's gonna be like. You know, it's just, it's just mind-boggling, because me and my friend Joe were talking about this, and he's, he has theories on it, and I'm like, hmm, okay, your theories make sense, but you never know what can happen. You know, it's Kingdom Hearts, after all. If you want to check out the gameplay trailer of Birth by Sleep, I'll put the link in the description. I really cannot wait to get this game. The official release date was confirmed for January 9th, 2010, so I'm definitely going to be importing that game. You know, with all these new games coming out, I am going to be broke, you know? So comes the end of vlog number 49, I believe. Yeah, 49 or 40. Eight, I really don't know. I've lost track at this point, you know, of all these vlogs and stuff. And soon I'm going to be hitting 50 and then 100, hopefully. But, um, yeah, so I really want to thank you guys. I've gotten over 2,700 subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you guys. I'm going to be on my way to the big 3 triple O, you know. I'm going to be psyched about that. Um, any of my upcoming videos that I have ideas for? Yes, I am making, um, my Ask Neo videos. I got, like, 30 pages worth of questions, and I will be answering those. So don't worry, they'll be coming soon. First episode, I want to premiere this Saturday. 
Um, what other type of videos am I going to be doing? Well, I'm going to be making more rants, definitely. I'm going to hear the rants I'm going to be doing so far. I'm going to be doing a rant on anime dub haters, you know, because I just got to get some steam off my chest because of these freaking, freaking weebles get on my freaking nerves. Um, I'll also be doing a rant on four kids, the one you guys have always been raiding for. And strangely, I got a lot of um, messages to do a rant on Nickelodeon, so I think I am going to do a rant on Nick, you know? Because there's a lot of bad stuff to be said about Nick, especially iCarly and stuff. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. You guys are the best. See you guys later. Wait a minute, I want to try something. What did you think of the opening? I fell in love! I fell in <laughs> love with the opening! Ah, oh, that never gets old. Thanks, Yuana.